Welcome to the second part of the JavaScript video. In this video, let us learn how to create a JavaScript function. So first what I am doing is that I am going to copy paste the code and then I will explain it what is this code about. So as I said in the first video that every JavaScript code must be kept under the script block. So I have a script block and then I am writing the function. Now in order to write the function you will have to use the function keyword. This is the reserved keyword by javascript and then after writing the fun function you will have to write the name of the function that you want to define. So here my name of the function is alert me and then if you have any parameter you can define it, the parameter for example a1 comma a2 so in this case a1 and a2 will be two parameter. If you don't have parameter then just simply remove leave it as it is and then close it with the parenthesis and under that what you do is that you write your javascript code so make sure that you are opening writing the code with the opening braces and the closing braces so all your javascript code inside this function should be under the opening and the closing braces and here i have written because i have only one statement so i have just written only one statement here and in this case we have we are just writing alert i am displaying from alert method so this alert is basically the javascript method now if we have to call this uh, javascript function that we have defined just now we will have to call uh, either on the click event or on blur event or all other type of event that uh, html and javascript support we will learn about those events later on but here what we have done is that we have called this uh, alert me function that we have defined just now on click of this button so in on click we have to specify the function name with the parenthesis and the value is click me now what will happen when i will run this page as you can see here test.htm you will see that one button will appear let's wait for some time and when i will click this button this alert me function will fire and it will give me the alert called i am displaying from alert method the message that it is written in the page so in order to uh, write a function what we do we write we use the reserved keyword called function and then we write the function name and then we write the parenthesis if we do not have any parameter if we have any parameter then we write the parameter separated by comma in case we have, we have multiple parameter and then we write our all code of the function uh, wrapped with the opening braces and the closing braces and in order to call the javascript function we need to write the function name on the click event or whatever event you want to call with now the next how to is how to write the javascript code in external file and use it in the html page okay so let me show you that external js file now there might be possibility that you might not write all the javascript code into the html page and this is also a best practices actually you should not write all the javascript code into the uh, html page instead you should create a separate js file the way i have created here so here I, what i have done is that i have created a js file called javascript.js let me show you that and in this i have started writing my javascript code so for example in this case i have just written uh, function so alert and then under that i have written the alert this is an alert so i have written all my javascript code here and in case i have to use this javascript file in the html page then we will have to write something like this a script language equal to javascript because this file contains javascript language src is equal to the name of the file so my name of the file is javascript file.js so this is what the javascript file.js and then time type equal to uh, text oblique javascript now when i will refer that javascript file in the html page what will happen is that all the code that is written into this js file will get referenced here in this uh, html page and we will be able to use all the functions and the code that is written into the js file in the html page so in a sense you are it is as good as writing all the code here in the html page now let me show you the uh, running example here and then i will come to the benefit of writing the 
code into the external js file so let me first test it out so my function uh, file name is external uh, use file so external yes now I'm running this page you can see that some text and this is the button and now when I will click you can see that this is alert is coming this is coming from the show alert method and show alert method is defined here in the external js file now people may ask a question that why it is good or beneficial to write the javascript code in the external file there are many benefits but I will let me uh, point out some of the benefits the first benefit is that our writing the javascript code into the external file the same javascript code can be used in number of pages for example here I have used here in, in this page I can also go ahead and copy paste the same script code here and I will be able to uh, call the uh, the method that is or function that is, that is written to the external js file in this page also so in this way you are reusing the code you are writing the code at one place and you are reusing the code uh, in multiple files so this is the one benefit the second benefit is that uh, when suppose this is the file that has been referenced into this file now when this page loads in the browser what happens is that browser download this javascript file.js and keep it into its temporary folder now second time when any other page for example uh, in this case I had done with the event suppose when I'm browsing the event page now now when I'm browsing the event page browser does not download this particular file javascript file.js file again but it uses from its temporary folder so in this case we are also getting the benefit of uh, the performance of the page the performance of the page will increase because it does not have to download the this file again and again so these are the two very very important uh, benefits uh, we get when we put the javascript code into the single js file or multiple js file now till now you might have noticed that every time I am keep uh, uh, no, telling that we should keep the javascript code inside the header tag now try to understand that why it is beneficial to write the script tag inside the head so for that let me show you an example and here is my page for this demonstration so here what we are doing is that yes I have referred this javascript file.js that I was expo explaining this file javascript file.js and in this we have show alert function and what we are doing is that we are calling the show alert function before we are referencing this javascript file.js into the page so we have referred this page here after the button but we are calling this uh, show alert function before the button itself it means that as soon as the page will load it will come to the paragraph it will render the paragraph and it will read the script block and it will try to call the show alert method but the show alert method doesn't exist because we have not referenced the show alert method in uh, from the javascript file or even we have not even defined the show alert method here so in this case what will happen is that we will get error let me show you that yes. you can see that it is saying that so alert is undefined because we have not defined the so alert till the point when it is being called now in case I will just move this here and then when I will try to run this page you will see that I am getting the alert this is an alert from the call of show alert function you can see that we are getting it here so th that is why I was keep telling earlier that ideally you should define or you should write the script block or you should call the external JS file under the head tag so that you will be able to call your JavaScript functions or methods or whatever you have written in the code from anywhere inside the body tag 
either you are calling at the top or you are calling at the last of the body tag it doesn't matter because you have already uh, written the javascript code or you have already referenced the javascript code under the head block so we, you will be able to call use all the javascript uh, codes easily throughout the pages so this is what the benefit is